Thank you. What about here, brother? Can you give it to the Kobari crew? Thank you. Yeah, the Kobari crew. So you want one? Welcome back to our channel. I am filming on our old camera right now and I just, I can't. Like I can't believe I used to think this was like a good camera. Not saying it's bad, but like compared to the one that we use now, like, I don't know, you guys might not see that big of a difference. This is the Canon G7X. You guys know we now use the Sony ZV-1. But speaking of our Sony ZV-1, yesterday the camera fell over while Mel was filming and I don't wanna say it fell over, Okay, well, knocked it over. But y'all, look at this. Okay, so this is how the camera looks when the lens is out. You guys know we have a lens attachment that gives you more of a wide um, angle view. So literally, not only did the lens fall off here, let me let it focus so I can show you guys. This is the lens attachment right here. And then the actual lens of the camera came off as well. Look at that. Like what? Look, so this is the lens of the actual camera, not even the lens attachment, popped right off of this camera. So we're actually going today to go buy another one, but I was just shocked. I think it's because of the lens attachment. That's why that happened. Like it literally like snapped in half. But anyways, I bet a lot of you guys just like don't even care. I feel like I'm always venting to you guys about camera problems. I don't know why, we just got a bunch of camera problems out of nowhere. But as long as we get it all situated out before I give birth, I am okay because I would hate for anything to happen to our cameras like right before I'm about to give birth. Like, cause you guys know I wanna like film the birth like I did with the first. But anyways, you guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing another, well not another nest with me, I did film another one, but that one's not up yet. But I stopped up by my baby just to pick up some last minute essentials, you know, especially after the baby shower, I kind of got a better idea of like what else we needed. So I stopped over at Bye Bye Baby in this video and I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I got. But before we get into that, I just wanna give a huge, huge shout out to HelloFresh for partnering with us for today's video. You guys know we've been working with HelloFresh for the longest time. I actually think they're my longest partner. So me and HelloFresh go way back. You guys know we love HelloFresh so much. All of their meals are so easy, so convenient, especially at this point in my pregnancy, it's been so difficult to go grocery shopping and meal plan and meal prep. I just have not had the energy for all of that. So HelloFresh has been coming through and they have just been so amazing. So you guys are gonna see Mel cooking it up because I was just way too tired yesterday. I actually napped while Mel cooked, so I got to wake up to food, it was amazing. So make sure you guys check out HelloFresh, link down below, and let's get into today's video. As you guys can see, Mel is cooking up this meal so I could take a much needed nap, but everything that you need to make your meal will come in these meal kits. So again, it's just so easy and simple. You get it straight to your door. Everything is pre-portioned out so you're not wasting any food. And also HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all their packaging is recyclable. And as you guys also saw, they also provide a step-by-step -step instruction card. So again, they just make it so easy to just cook your meals, whether you're a professional chef or you're just starting out, it really is for everybody. And you learn so many new tips and new recipes. And what I love about HelloFresh is that it just makes you a better cook in general. Like even if you're not following the meal kit anymore, you just know what flavors work well together and also like new techniques that you learn. They also deliver fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week, so you get the best flavor possible. And they also offer so many different meal plans depending on your own dietary needs and goals. They offer veggie plans, pescatarian, fit and wholesome, so it just makes it easy to stick to your goals as well. HelloFresh also has this feature on there called Hello Custom, and I'm so excited for it because you guys know Mel doesn't eat beef, and there's so many recipes that I want to try out that have beef, and I'm like, oh dang, I can't get it because you know, like, I'm gonna be the only person eating it. But with Hello Custom, you can actually swap out one protein for another, a side for another, and you can truly tailor the meal to you. Thank you. 
You guys should definitely check out HelloFresh if you haven't already. You won't regret it. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code Kavari16 for up to 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. I'll put the link down below. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So right now we just pulled up to Bye Bye Baby. We're just gonna do some last minute shopping. It's just so crazy how fast time is going by. I am like 32 weeks, I'm 32, like 32 and a half weeks right now. And my doctors don't want me to go past 37 weeks, which means we are gonna be having the twins in less than five weeks. And you guys know me, I am someone who likes to be prepared as soon as possible so I wanted to wait after I got you know all of the baby shower gifts and go through the nursery and stuff like that and see what we had left over for Vaughn and storage and I made a list on my phone on things that we still need to get we don't have too many things on there so I just wanted to come by and get that before you know it got too late said of course Mel has to do all the heavy lifting uh -huh. and I just get to be a spoiled little princess this looks promising so I'm gonna try this out and then I need a good, um, I need a good hand pump. See that here. Found one. Y'all, Kayvon has been trying to push this. Let me see how you're going to push it. Let's see, let's see. How are you gonna push it in the stroller? Well, I guess he can do it. <laughs> well, my plan didn't work. Well, he can push it for me, that's fine. Okay, okay look, you dropped your toy. Ugh. Ugh. Look how cute his little outfit is today. It's so summery. <laughs> So we finished up at Bye Bye Baby and now we're at this Cuban restaurant. We love it so much. It's called Versailles. So if you guys are in like the LA, like Valley area, you guys need to try it out. It's like a mom and pop shop and their food is so good. Oh really? Well actually they do have a couple locations, but their food is like so authentic, so good. Well at least I think it is. I can't say I'm like it's the most authentic Cuban food and I'm like not Cuban, but it's delicious. Always gotta get came on some fries to hold them over. Guys, Kayvon's hair turned out so cute today. I love it. Can, you, can you share a fry with the camera? Take it. Ask the camera if they want fries. Hey. Hey, mommy. Thank you. What about here, bro? Can you give it to the Kobari crew? Thank you. Yeah, the Kobari crew. Do you want one? That's a good one. Touch the lens. Mmm, yummy. So sweet. Thank you, KK. Oh, oh, oh. I'll just do a, I'll do a model. So I wanna show you guys what we picked up from Bye Bye Baby. And as you guys can see by the background, I'm in the baby's nursery. And guys, it is turning out so, so cute. Obviously you guys can't see much, you know, behind me, but I feel like most of the room, like the real focal point is like this way. So I'm on my ball right now. That's why I'm super low and you guys are on the dresser. But yeah, guys, this room is quickly becoming one of my favorite rooms in the house. It's just so calming and beautiful. I just got custom drapes put in the other day. And this room is just, I can't wait to show you guys a tour. But I'm thinking of waiting until the babies are born to do the tour. Because I am going to be putting pictures on the walls that have their names on it. And we don't want to reveal the names until they're born. So the nursery tour might be like not that soon even though the room will be done pretty soon so just keep a lookout for that but i just wanted to quickly show you guys what we picked up from bye bye baby so i did a load of whites for the babies because a lot of the things that we purchased were white so i just went ahead and took everything out of the packaging and just threw in the washer um so i didn't forget about it so the first thing i got i was looking for burp cloths and instead of getting like the traditional burp cloth you guys know what i mean that like you know, you like put over your shoulder. I saw these bibs and they're in that same mus muslin, muslin. 
I really hope I'm not saying that wrong. It's spelled like M-U-S-L-I-N, muslin cloth. Um, it is that same material. So typically bibs like this are a thicker material and you guys are gonna see on the packaging, it says for um, ages three months and up. These were marketed uh, for zero months and up because of the fabric. So it's not like suffocating or anything. So I figured this just made more sense than getting like a pack of burp cloths because we can just clip it around their neck or even just like, you know, like lay it where we need to lay it. And I do have like a few left over from Kayvon, so we can always just like use that if we feel like this doesn't work. But this just made more sense in my head. It came in a pack of five and they're by the brand Green Sprouts. Another item that I went to Bye Bye Baby specifically for, oh wait, is that five or six? No, it came in a pack of five. So another thing I specifically went to Bye Bye Baby for was just a pack of white long sleeve onesies these are without um pants or the full body it's just like your typical snap closed onesie so i just got a pack of white and these are by the brand carters and this was really great because they were 30 percent off mel actually spotted this and they were so freaking cute bye my baby is doing really good sales on all of their clothes right now so this was buy one get one half off so look how cute this set is you guys so see we have the nike onesie and the matching pants so this is for our daughter the pink version and then we got the matching blue version how cute is this gonna be like for a photo or something like that with both of them together how cute are they gonna look side by side in these little outfits i love it so much i had a good eye because i'm like i did not see that and those are so so cute this actually i didn't get from baba baby i ordered it off of amazon and this is a wipe warmer now i didn't purchase one right away with Kayvon, and we ended up getting one for him like a month in and we wish we did it sooner so i recommend using cold wipes during the day just so they can get used to it but at night you guys like even when i be going to the bathroom at three in the morning i'm not trying to use my cold ass wipe you know what i mean so a wipe warmer is definitely an essential so i got this one for our bedroom for late night changes and this one I saw has a like night light too, which I thought was pretty cool. You guys saw in the footage, we got some stuff. Well, not we, I got some stuff for breastfeeding and pumping. So I picked up a hand pump. This one's by the brand Medela. And I, I didn't use this one before. The last brand I used, I think was Philips. And personally, like I just, I obviously don't want to like really try it because if you guys didn't know, pumping can actually induce your labor. And with me being like pregnant with twins and high risk, I should not, you know, try to do anything to induce myself. But I like fit it on and see how this has that silicone um, flange. It was actually very comfortable. I feel like the other one I had didn't have the silicone. So this one definitely felt a lot better. And this one has amazing reviews. And it's just like really nice. Like look, it has a little stand. It's like state of the art breast pump. You know what I mean? So picked up one of those also from Medela. I needed to get some like breast milk storage. I need to find where I put all this stuff. Like I have no idea. I have a feeling. You guys know how our kitchen um, cabinets go all the way to the ceiling. I feel like it's in one of those super, super high up cabinets. I need to have Mel take a look. But I picked up this um, a breast milk bottle set. So this is just, it also comes with like the plain twist cap. So this is just to store the milk and um, measure it out. You always wanna measure out your milk and something like this before you put it in the bag if you wanna freeze it. Cause the bag is not accurate with the, um, what's it called? It's not accurate with the measurements at all. And I like this set you guys, because I really like the nipple on these bottles. So I've been doing a lot of research. You guys know I talked about it in another video. <sighs> I keep on getting out of breath. I say that in every video. I'm so sorry. But if there's ever jump cuts, it's because I literally can't breathe. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on nipples for breastfed babies. And this is like the best shape. My Spectra pump also came with two free bottles. And this is also a really good shape as well. So this is like the optimal shape. That I've been seeing from my research from like lactation consultants and all that see that apparently this is like the best shape for breastfed babies and I actually ordered a pack of even flow bottles and they have this shape as well so with the other bottles that I was showing you guys they were very 
you guys saw they were like very round at the bottom and then like the nipple was very like long and it wasn't like a gradual slope so that is why I also wanted to get this Medela set because I really just like the nipple on it and I'm like how convenient I can just pump pour it in here already has a nipple on it let me know if you guys tried these bottles with your babies I would love to know and see like I said there also just has the regular storage lid as well and it came with like sanitation bags so yes yeah, this was a pretty cool set and then I just picked up another one of these we use this for washing Kayvon's bottles and we still use the same one so it's about two and a half years old so I was like it's time to get a fresh one you know for the twins and then you guys saw me pick this up in the b-roll footage the freedom mom sore nipple set so I thought this was cool I did pick up a few um nipple bombs like last time I went to Target but I liked how this one had this like saline spray and I feel like that's gonna feel like really cooling and really nice this I picked up I was so excited for this is called the tush swiper and apparently you're supposed to like it's like a attachment you add to your diaper cream and you can just go ahead and squeeze it out and you know put it on their tush you don't have to use your finger or anything like that wipe it off and you're good to go well I didn't read that there's different types and this one is only compatible with the Aquaphor diaper rash cream and the Eucerin diaper rash cream. And all the ones that I picked up are either this brand. I either have this brand, the Bordeaux butt paste, or I have the Honest diaper creams. So I'm just going to keep this around. And then next time when it comes time to buy more diaper cream, I'm going to go ahead and buy the Aquaphor one so that we can use these and then the rest of the stuff that we picked up from bye bye baby were for vaughn you guys saw we got him like a few toys and things like that but yeah that's everything that i picked up and i'm just so excited to show you guys this nursery you guys like i snapped i personally think i snapped i love it i feel like i'm gonna live in here it's just so serene so beautiful excited i'm so so excited you guys